Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to WWE 2K20, my career mode. We are continuing chapter 10. This is episode 11. Thank you guys so much for your support so far in this series. I need you to hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can if you've been enjoying it. I've been digging it. The story is very interesting. There's a lot of wacky ups and downs, and I'm here for it. So without further ado, let's continue. I am definitely auditioning. It's one of my OG list items. Star in a WWE action movie. I think I'm gonna pass. Are you kidding? Do I need to remind you that the rank and file films are cinematic masterpieces? <laughs> no. You mention that every year on that weird holiday you invented where you binge all of them from start to finish. You mean Thanksgiving Day? <laughs> it's the most heart-pounding, action-packed, explosive day of the year. And it's gonna catch on. You'll see. I wouldn't get your hopes up, all you wannabe movie stars. Because I already have the lead role of Bryce Decker locked in for the fourth consecutive film. I mean, do you really think the rank-and-file franchise could continue without the most accomplished WWE superstar slash actor in history? The answer is no, people. But please, feel free to audition for a bit part or an extra role. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the director. Gotta run. Getting my eyes bleached for the big shoot coming up. Really gonna make these baby blues pop on screen. Break a leg. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't my thing, but I know how excited you were. Hmm. Honestly, the franchise is probably better off in the hands of a seasoned artist like The Miz. You were right. It was a stupid dream. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. Let's audition together. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. Let's give it our best shot, and maybe we can get supporting roles, or background would be fine too, even deep background mm -hmm. where we're out of focus and no one can see me. Oh, that would still be cool. And just imagine all the kids' faces when they see us in the movie next year on Thanksgiving Day. They'll light up with explosions and excitement. I'm still not sure that's catching on like you think it is. Thanksgiving Day. I, I can't with this man anymore. <laughs> All right, here we are backstage. We got Bianca Belair and R Truth. I can't talk to Truth right now. I can only imagine what he's gonna say. So let's Instead talk to of Bianca. worrying about movie auditions, maybe you should focus on defending your Raw Women's Championship. Oh, should I? Thanks for the advice, but I'm confident I can handle both. Yeah. Maybe you feel that way because you've been facing subpar competition since you won that title last year. So how about you step up and take on someone who can actually challenge you? What are you Who trying do you to say? Have in mind? Is that a serious question? I'm talking about the EST of WWE. I'm, uh, Here's I ain't my got time response right now. with another EST for you. No interest. Damn. Damn, she just got roasted. No, not really. All right, I just, I'm trying to, I want to find out what R-Truth wants. Beyond well, R-Truth. All right, what's going on, I don't on, know truth? if you've heard, but there's auditions coming up for Rank and File 4, and I could really use your help. You've come to the right man. Not only have I starred in several movies, but it just so happens I'm a certified acting coach in over 17 states and three U.S. territories. <laughs> so is this one of the states you're certified to teach in? Sure. But before I greenlight your acceptance to my seminar, I need to know if you have what it takes to make it in Hollywood. So if you can beat me in a match tonight and then make three easy cash-only payments of 99 95 <laughs> we'll be in business man uh i guess i should face our truth to get my to acting lessons in i like your confidence now let's see if you can handle yourself in the ring this man said 99 95 three easy payments okay well here we go it's gonna be danger versus our truth i gotta beat him and then pay him like $300 for him to help me. Never in my life have I beaten someone and then paid them. That's usually just not how it works. But regardless, this Monday Night Raw crowd is about to feast their eyes on the danger. Now former Universal Champion. I don't really want to talk about it, so we're just going to keep it moving. Maybe, maybe, maybe. USA. Oh, snap. 
crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now here we go. People over there, what's up? Skirt, skirt. You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. All right, I ain't trying to get copyrighted. All right. <laughs> what's up, Truth? You gonna teach me how to act? Get me into your seminar. Defeat our truth to take his acting class. Beautiful. I'm here for it. Big drop kick from danger. This is a big. This, this is a lot of ramifications for this matchup right now. Who knows what's gonna happen from here? Here we go. Irish whip to the corner and Shmabukin. Truth is down. Look at danger. Gonna go to the top rope because we top rope diving. Baby elbow from danger. I think he might have learned that from Velveteen Dream. Remember that? That was just a couple episodes ago. Did you forget already? You shouldn't. Here comes danger now. Look at this. Beautiful arm drag takedown to truth. And so far, this has been all danger. Brooke was challenged by Bianca Belair, but honestly, Brooke just didn't. Brooke just didn't think Bianca was was quite ready yet. She's just not ready for that title match just yet. Boom, Sling Blade. What year is this, by the way? Like 20, 25? I don't remember. Danger going back to the top rope. What are we going to see here? Turns around. A beautiful moonsault. That might be enough. Hooks the leg. Come on, ref. Way out of position. Two count. I got to blame that one on the referee, honestly. That man was way out of position. Truth wasting. Oh my God! Beautifully executed. Do I have a springboard? I sure don't. How about this standing shooting star? The athleticism of danger. Knee to the face. He has proven all of his doubters wrong. He has silenced those who opposed him, and he has come a long, long way from his old days of being just a weirdo. <laughs> He's still a little bit of a weirdo, but he's just better at wrestling now. Stomping away on Truth. Look at this. Truth is getting his booty whooped. This was Truth's idea, by the way. He said he could help me with them glasses. Super kick. To the chin. Two and three. One super kick is all it took. And our truth now owes me an acting lesson. And I owe him about $300. Let's keep it moving. Thanks again for helping me out. Quiet on the set. The director always has complete authority. Actors will only speak when spoken to. Sorry. And you probably don't need the megaphone since I'm like three feet away. Never question the decision of a director or someone pretending to be a director. <laughs> My bad. Now, as a certified acting coach, the first thing I need to teach you is about visualization. I want you to close your eyes. Good. Now imagine you're in an office, ranking various items from best to worst, and then you place those rankings in a very important file. But when you come back from lunch, the file is gone. How does that make you feel? How is this relevant? Aren't the rank and file movies, workplace, dramas? <laughs> Full disclosure, I've never seen any of them. Uh, they're action films about rank and file soldiers who ignore their commanding officer's orders so they can rise to the occasion and stop the enemy. You know, with badass fight scenes and heart wrenching suspense. Oh, well, there goes everything I had planned. I did think there was a lot of explosions in the strip for a film about office work. <laughs> Wait, you have the script? I thought the director wasn't letting anyone see it for fear that the producers of Soldier 5 might get a hold of it and copy its intricate and highly unique plot points. Any good actor steals the strip. I, I mean, acquires it before an audition. Here, memorize these lines. It will give you a leg up on the competition. Now give those back to me. I need to destroy the evidence. I, 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 I mean, put the strip back where I just happened to find it. And that concludes my seminar. I hope I have provided you with a solid foundation to begin your acting career. And if you take one thing away from this, just remember, your next payment is due in six days. Good luck, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, wait. I gotta memorize this? Oh, hold up. Possible audition scenes. 
Turk struggles with the vending machine, panicking as Bryce looks on. Turk, the antidote is hidden in the vending machine, but it's jammed. Bryce Decker, looks like we're going to need to buy a lot of candy if we want to get sweet revenge. Bryce's eyes suddenly oh, snap open. He's alive. Coroner, I know I pronounced you dead a half hour ago, but we need to know where Donnie's gang is hiding out. Bryce Decker, I saw it in a vision when I was dead. They're in a building that has a large white star on it. Also, your grandfather says hi and that he approves of your lifestyle. <laughs> Bryce tackles Sergey to the boat deck. Sergey gasps for air. Sergey, the bomb is wired inside of Chloe's jet ski, so you're going to have to make a decision. Stay here so I don't get away, or go save her and a bunch of innocent dolphins. What's it going to be? Bryce Decker, I'm going to let you in on one secret. Those are bomb-disabling dolphins, so the only one who's going to be sleeping with the fishes is you. Oh, snap. Oh, oh wait. Okay, that's the first page again. Okay, okay. Um, I'm not going to remember either of those. <laughs> so, okay, antidote is in the vending machine, but it's jammed. Candy, sweet revenge. I saw it in the vision. Large white star. The bomb is in Chloe's jet ski. This is, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Show me it. I'm ready. Sorry, but I'm just a little nervous with the star of the rank and file franchise here. Oh, don't mind me. I just wanted a sneak peek at what's going to end up on the blooper reel. You'll be fine. Besides, pressure makes diamonds. Or in this case, comedy gold. Is that Elsa? So I know you didn't give out script pages before the auditions, but when do I get to see the lines? You don't, because you're going off book. I want you to feel it here by completely immersing yourself in the character. Now I'll read a line and you tell me what our hero's response should be. Mm. This should be I got this, I got this, good. I got this. All right, hit me with it, line one. The antidote is hidden in the vending machine, but it's jammed. Uh, looks like we're gonna need to buy a lot of candy. Yeah, the candy sweet revenge. That one. That one. Looks like we're gonna need to buy a lot of candy if we want to get sweet revenge. Perfect. That's exactly what I was envisioning. Now let's continue. Yeah. Okay, okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. Crap, I forgot what else he said. I know I pronounced you dead a half hour ago, but we need to know where Donnie's gang is hiding out. Something about a white star. Uh, yeah, I saw a vision when I was dead. It's a building that has a large white star on it. Ha! Grandfather says hi. Bam! Proves your lifestyle. Do whatever you want. I saw it in a vision when I was dead. They're in a building that has a large white star on it. Also, your grandfather says hi, and that he approves of your lifestyle. Yes! You absolutely nailed it! Beginner's luck! Okay, last one. Oh god, okay. This is the one about the dolphins. The bomb right? is wired inside of Chloe's jet ski. So you're going to have to make a decision. Stay here so I don't get away, or go save her and a bunch of innocent dolphins. What's it going to be? The dolphins are uh, the dolphins. The dolphins are bomb diffusing. Bomb disabling, diffusing. Yep, I'm gonna let you know. See, those are bomb disabling dolphins. Bam! Only one sleeping with the fishes is you, boy. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Those are bomb disabling dolphins. So the only one who's gonna be sleeping with the fishes is you. Brilliant! It's almost like you saw the script ahead of time. <laughs> Unbelievable! Maybe you could play gang member number two or. Henchman number five. Not anyone with an actual name. <laughs> mm. Sounds like someone's a little worried. Okay, Miss. Now that Trey has dazzled me with his intuitive performance, it's your turn to audition. Are you kidding? This must be a prank, right? Did they bring back Swerved? No, mm. this isn't a joke. But I'm the star of the rank and file franchise. You can't potentially recast me. I even have a Bryce Decker tattoo on my inner left thigh. I thought this so-called audition was just a part of your stupid hippity-dippity process. I assure you, it's very real. So if you're that confident in your ability, then please show me. Fine. But can I at least see the script pages? <laughs> that wouldn't be fair. I want you to feel it here. Don't touch me! Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. Sit down, shut up, and watch how a real Hollywood star performs this part. Proceed, director. Okay. The terrorists are inside the arena, disguised as the opening band. You need to do something to stop them. 
we need to create a diversion. What kind of concert is this? Rock, country, hip hop? I could really use some context. Don't <laughs> worry about all that. Just immerse yourself in the character. Yeah, Miz. Immerse. Shut up. <laughs> I think the only way we're gonna stop them is if we band together. Uh, puns are a bit too expected and broad <laughs> for my taste. Too broad? A few minutes ago, this no-talent hack was babbling on about bomb-disabling dolphins. It rang true when he said it. Look, in the spirit of positivity, I think it's time for you to move on to a new artistic challenge. This is unbelievable. You'll be getting a call from my agent, my entertainment lawyer, and my regular lawyer. I actually don't have a phone, but I'd be happy to meet with them in person at my treehouse in the woods outside of Austin. Unbelievable! <laughs> I'll call you. I, I just made up that whole treehouse thing to get rid of him. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, look at that! Danger with the acting chops? Who would have thought? Oh, that's right. Me. Before we get started, you should know, I'm just doing this to support a friend of mine, so... I thought I'd just stand here for a couple of minutes so he thinks I auditioned. That work for you? Unconventional, but I like where you're going with this. Very avant-garde. No, you don't you don't get it. I really don't want to part. The reluctant heroine. Mm. I dig it. No. I don't know how else to say this. I don't want to be in your movie. Sorry I'm late. The idiot I was sparring with accidentally scratched me, so I had to fire him. Then he started crying, saying how he couldn't believe his own daughter would do this to him, blah, blah, blah. What the hell are you doing here? This oh, hey, Red. Didn't recognize you. Guess I just thought you were the director's homely assistant his wife forced him to hire so he's not tempted to cheat on her. Tried that. Didn't work. Why are you <laughs> here? This is my turf. Believe me, I would have preferred to do this just about anywhere else, but I'm here because I'm using my MMA success to dabble in Hollywood. Kind of like Ronda Rousey did, only way better. Brooklyn's already been cast as our female lead, Miranda. You know what? Let's have the two of you workshop the scene where Miranda's daughter is kidnapped from the playground, and you're the stubborn crossing guard who won't let her cross the street illegally to chase after the kidnappers. Seriously? And <laughs> action. The kidnappers are getting away with Emily. I need to stop them. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't let you cross the street until the walk signal appears. Mm. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Well, a mother's job is never done. Oh! Going off script with the slap, but I like it. <gasps> Use that oh. anger, Red. If you ever touch me again, the only movies you'll appear in will be the instructional kind for plastic surgeons on how to fix faces that are bludgeoned beyond recognition. I am. Maybe a tad extreme? Mm. Ooh! Beat her ass, bro. But, yes! Cut! Cut! That's a wrap! Let's go! Backstage raw! Let's do it! Let's do it! Oh god! Wrong way! Wrong way! Wrong way! Get her to red health! Let's go! Fighting! In the casting booth. Oh, there's couches here too. Let's not talk about it. All right. Brooklyn Von Braun, huh? You think you're just gonna come in here and slap me in the face twice? Girl, you got another thing coming. Can I hit you with this camera? Can I hit you with the camera? Can I Can I pick up the camera? Sure can't. Okay, that's fun. Deep, deep. Does that take you back anywhere? I missed. Where is he talking to us from? <laughs> it's on the intercom. Turn around. Look at this. Neck breaker on Brooklyn. I'm gonna send you back to Brooklyn. I don't know what city we're in, but I hope we're far away. And I hope you gotta walk there. You're lucky those kicks missed, too. But it kinda goes with the territory. Oh, swing and a miss. Look at this. Big strikes. Yeah. What you got, Brooklyn? Nothing. You got nothing. Bomb brawn. I'll give you a brawn. I'll show you some brawn. How about this? Up. Over. Boop. Red health, huh? I get it a red health in my sleep. Stomp. 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 Get up. Get up. Sss. Sss. He slapped me in the face twice. First a front hand, then a back hand. This is what happens. This is what happens. Boom! Right to the gut. Yeah, what now? Oh, kick to the front part. So Stomp. 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 Get up. Again. Sss. Sss. I didn't want to be in this damn movie. I didn't want to be in this movie. I'm not a crossing guard. Oh, over there. She's over there, Brooke. 
Uh, right that way. Yep. Boom! Fez press. Big right hands to Ms. Von Braun. Get up. Get up. It's over for you. It's over for you. I've had enough. I've had enough. Oh, straight to the chest. And then, boop. What a move from Brooklyn. Yeah, you thought. Oh, she dodged the red letter. Son of a B. <laughs> that sucks. Got to get her to red health. Got to get her to red health. She's almost there. She's almost there. That would have knocked her out cold, and I wouldn't have been able to complete my objectives. Clothesline. Red health. Hit your finisher. Damn it. <laughs> See, uh, what had happened, I was I was about to. See, but um, the thing is, she got, she done uh she she had reversed it. I was right there though. It was very close. It was very close. Signature. Bop. Wait for it. Boop. Now she's got to hit the fin. All right, I'm going to make her. I'm going to make her. Yeah, she wasted it. She wasted it. Oh, I didn't think she was going to hit me. I was going to back up. I thought I backed up enough. <laughs> I thought I backed up enough. No, come on. Brooklyn or Brooke. Not Brooklyn. Brooke. Just Brooke. Just one Brooke. Babbling Brooke. No. Bam. Turn around. Turn around. Show me your face. Damn it. <laughs> no, get off me. Show me your face. Bam! Red letter, baby. Oh no. Ah, tap. Tap out. Tap. Damn it. I just whooped her ass too. And scene. Just like old times. <laughs> oh my when do I get to Oh, when do I get my comeuppance on this woman? She keeps getting one over on me. <laughs> I don't appreciate it. Despite Miz and Brooklyn <laughs> doing everything they could to prevent it, I got the starring role in Rank and File 4. Red, on the other hand, wasn't so lucky. But I guess fighting with the lead actress during a casting session is generally frowned upon. Miranda, where are you? I'm in the spaceship's cockpit. Hurry, Bryce. We don't have much time before it launches. Your time's up, imposter. Cut! <laughs> There's no henchman line in this script. You're <laughs> just supposed to tackle him, and then he throws you off the imaginary launch pad. Let's go again, and this time stick to what's written. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. Oh, no. Oh! Oh! Uh, security! Security intruder on the set! Get him, Miz! Oh, we got a brawl on the movie set! Let's go! I haven't fought on the movie set. I actually never brawled on the movie set yet. That's great. Win by knockout. Let's go. In the green suits and the body suits. This is sick. This is really cool. Side brush and leg sweep. This is a cool looking little set here. I'm sure there's probably nothing to interact with, which is unfortunate, but <laughs> good start, I guess. Ah, boom. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Smack you just like Brooklyn Bomb Braun. Yeah. Get away from me. Yeah, you thought. Come here. Boom. What can I grab? I gotta be able to grab something. I gotta be able to grab something. Can I get the sledgehammer off the table? Just this random sledgehammer on the table? Yep. Come here, Miz. You trying to ruin my... Oh, God. Oh, God. Crap. No. Shoot. Ooh. I think my butt hit the sledgehammer. Is anyone filming this? Is anyone... Get me a camera. Get me a camera now. <laughs> He's trying to film it. Get off me. And hit him with that arm drag takedown. You missed Sledgehammer. You trying to ruin my movie debut, Miz? I'll have none of it! I said, none of it! Crap. Crap. Nope. I said, none of it! Give me this again. Pop. Did I hit him? I don't know if I hit him. Pop. There it is. Yeah. What now? Pop. How's that feel? Boop. Nope. I missed. Hit him one more time. Nope. You missed. To the left. A little to the left. Boop. There it is. Yeah, I don't need that anymore. Can I, anything else I can grab over here? Uh, no, nothing there. Oh, I throw a tray at him. <laughs> this is gonna wash away the taste of shame. From oh no! Time in Park City. Crap. Ooh, I'm. I think I'm. Oh, yep. Wasn't where I was supposed to be. Oh, okay. <laughs> just gonna keep it moving. Boop. How about this? Danger on the outside. Super kick to the chin of the Miz. Give me this. I'm not done with you, green boy. Bop. Mmm. Bop. 
Are you tracking this? Are these dots tracking my movement now? Hmm? Ah. One more time. Do it again. Do it again. End this man. Ah. Oh, okay. You missed. You missed. Perfect. Oh, he reversed. Oh, crap. All right. Just took a little too much time. That's fine. <laughs> that's, uh, that's okay. Let's go, Miz. Oh, through the table. Through that table also. <laughs> Why are they chanting, let's go Miz, we're backstage. We're like at a movie set. No one knows where we are. Final calling to the Miz. Apparently that wasn't enough. Good to know, okay. Get back up, get up. I'm knocking this man out with the sledge. I'm knocking him out with the sledge. Sister sledge, crap. I fell on it, I fell on it. Uh oh, here comes Miz. No, he thought, he thought lining him up for the yes, what's this that wasn't the super kick that's fine Bop! to the face and now we're gonna line him up for it calling for that sue get that guy off my Her set kick. i always wanted to say that i cannot work in these unsafe conditions then maybe you should talk to your friend henchman number five you started all this you know what i'm going to my trailer and i'm not coming out until you're recast don't look at me Okay, that's lunch. Are they supposed to be chanting "Let's go, Miss"? Because I don't, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Either way, here we are. Miss, I appreciate you taking the time to have me on your show so we can set the record straight. Because the truth is, I shouldn't be here tonight in this crap basket of a town. No offense. I should be in majestic Vancouver, British Columbia, filming Rank and File 4. But unfortunately, my co-star, and I use that term loosely, let his personal feelings against my friend, The Miz, boil over. And now 200 crew members are out of work. That's right. I'm sorry to inform you that the production on Rank and File 4 has been temporarily shut down. Oh no. And unless we come up with a solution, the shutdown could be permanent. Oh, snap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're blaming all of this on me? I'm not the one who snuck on set like a crazy stalker and attacked the star of the movie. In fact, I have it on good authority from a security guard that you were the one who let Miz on set. So if anything, this whole mess is your fault. I would never do that to my crew. They're like family. Sure, I might forget their names or not let them make eye contact with me, but that's the exact same relationship I have with my siblings. <laughs> guys, guys, what if I told you I can make this act of injustice disappear without involving producers or agents or lawyers? How do you propose we do that? by settling who gets the part in a match at SummerSlam. But it won't be any typical match you've seen before. This will be an action-packed summer blockbuster. The rank and file four script will be suspended above the ring and whoever can climb a ladder and retrieve it first gets the starring role once and for all. Oh. This will be the premiere of the lights, camera, action ladder match. Sequels are tough to pull off but me beating you for the part a second time is gonna be way more entertaining than the first go around. Damn. And since we're in the spirit of making movie themed matches, I have another pitch for you. How about we give everyone a preview of the coming attraction to SummerSlam? Me and Red versus you and Brooklyn tonight on Raw. Ooh. Mixed You'd tag all have action. to see me compete inside a WWE ring, wouldn't you? Well, too bad, because it's not gonna happen. I'm an elite MMA fighter and Hollywood star. This isn't my arena. Fair enough. But if it's not your arena, then why don't you get the hell out? I will not stand here and allow you to insult my esteemed guest. So. If you want a sneak preview match, then you got it. But it will be you and Red taking on me and my beautiful wife, Maurice. That's fine. Now that I'm a movie star, I get how it works. 
When it comes time for an action scene, you take out the lead actress and bring in the lower paid, less talented stunt double. As they say in Hollywood, ciao. <laughs> yeah, as they say in Hollywood, ciao. Says the danger. Yes, right? Brooklyn, ugh. Can't wait till Brooke whoops that booty. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be glorious. All right, here it is. It's scheduled for one fall. And the Raw Women's Champion, Brooks Danger. Brooks Danger. Here we go. This is the match a lot of these people. This is going to be a barn burner. Brooke and Chris Danger versus The Miz and Maurice, the current Raw Women's Champion, former Universal Champion. Against the man that's gotten on my nerves lately and his wife. The lights flicker for the one and only. The man, the myth, the legend, the danger. Looking good, feeling good, doing good, being good, being great. Skip this damn scene. I know what he looks like. All right. But our opponents this evening. Oh dear baby Jesus. So lucky to be here for this. First, Maurice, how come they don't come out together? Maurice. They don't come out together? Husband we and wife, they don't come out together? To Y'all just like, nah, I'm good. All right. Maurice, like Maurice. Maurice. In the ring. enters the ringside area and her tag team partner this evening, her esteemed husband. Actor slash A-lister slash most must-see superstar in professional wrestling. The awesome one. Here comes the Miz. He came to play. Pay. There's a price to pay. Play. Time for you to get down on your knees and pray. And, and in <laughs> the glasses. California. Miz. 221. He got the walk down. Oh, this is going to be a fight. This is going to be a war. I wonder if... Okay, so here's the thing. About, what are, we, are we talking on the outside? Here's the thing about mixed tag matches, right? The female can hit the male, but the male can't hit the female. So if I'm going to go for a pin as Chris Danger, get Maurice to yellow health. All right, never mind. We got objectives. I'm not worried about what <laughs> we got objectives then. It's fine. Get Maurice to yellow health. Then it'll probably have me have me get Miz to yellow health or something like that. All right, we're good. We're good. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. How about a Northern Lights to Maurice? Stomping away. Uh-oh. She's got that possum already. Got to watch out for that possum from Maurice. Just when you least expect it. Get up. Facing the other way. Here comes Brooke. Danger. Oh, big reversal from Maurice. No, I hate that reversal. She hits the big double. And now there's nothing I can do. Big forearm from Maurice. And right now, Brooke is just in trouble. She can't reverse. She can't do anything at the current moment. Now I can, though. Now I can. Now I'm back. Oh, crap. I missed. Irish whip to the corner. Miz, no. Looks like she might have started to try to tag the Miz in. We got her to yellow health. Grapple move on Maurice. Crap. One second. <laughs> I'll get it in a second. Nice reversal from Brooke. What a takedown. Grapple move on Maurice. Easy. It looks like it might all be over for the team of Maurice and Miz. Uh, what is that? Uh, I think it's uh, footage from Red in Brooklyn's audition fight. Uh, it suddenly got Red's attention. Uh, and see. You really filmed that? Oh, Jesus. Well. Well. <laughs> Oh, 
That's unfortunate. <laughs> yep, she's usually about to put her away with a body slam. But that's neither here nor there. Damn! That's hogwash. Wow. These a-holes. People, Danger and The Miz coming up at SummerSlam. Lights, camera, action, ladder match. It's going down and it's going to be wild. I need you to hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Thank you so much for stopping by. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you next time. Peace.